Now that the data collection form is finished, we will concentrate on the data validation step of the process. Now, thanks to the CF input tag, it has been very easy to generate a basic client-side data validation script. Client-side means that it is executed on the client, so in the browser of the visitor, before the data is sent to the server, and that process uses JavaScript. So if I run that page and take a look at the generated code here, I can see that Confusion has generated here a lot of JavaScript in the browser. And that JavaScript has been generated based on the extra attributes that are supplied to the CF input tag. But let's return to Confusion Builder. Because it is also very useful to check the data on the server after it has been submitted. This is useful, for example, if the client browser has JavaScript turned off and also for some validation that can be done only on the server. So I return to the top of the page here and I will write a small comment to specify that the form processing script starts here. Now in the form processing script, the first thing that I should do is to check if the form has been submitted. Now to do that, I will use the submit button. And here you see the submit button has a name. It's called FLD new user submit. So let's copy that name here and let's use it in a CF if block. All right. Now I could use the is defined function that we are used to, but I will use another function instead because now you know that the form scope is actually a confusion structure. So I can use the struct key exists function to check in the form structure if that key here, FLD new user submit exists. And if it exists, I know that the user has clicked on that submit button so that the form has been submitted. Now, usually we prefer to use struct key exists over is defined because the struct key exists function offers a far better performance than it's defined when executed by Confusion. Now, if the form has been submitted, then I can start my server side data validation. Now to do that, I will create using CF set a variable. And that variable will be an array that I will call a error messages. And I will make that equal to a new array of one dimension like that. Now, the first thing that I will check, the first piece of data that I want to validate is the first name. So I will validate the first name. And I will check using another CF if block if form dot, and here I will take a look at the first name field that I copy paste also to avoid typos. So form dot user first name is equal to an empty string. If it is equal to an empty string, I know that the user has submitted the form without providing a first name. And in that case, I will use CF set again to use the array append function to append in the a error message array a value that will be a message. So please provide a valid first name. Of course, I will do the same thing. So we'll copy paste that block of code here for the last name. So I will validate here the last name. I will check for the last name here and I will change the message. Last name. And same thing for the email address. So I check the user email and I change once again the message. Now for the email, there is one more thing that I want to check. So I will write a or 
because I also want to check with the isValid function of ColdFusion if my submitted data, so form.fld user email, corresponds to the email pattern. Now, it is very important here to provide the two conditions here of the CF if in that order, because if form.fld user email is an empty string, so if this is true, then ColdFusion knows that the entire if is true and will not even check the isValid function because if this is true, the entire uh, CF if condition is also true. So in other words, the isValid function will be performed by ColdFusion only if some data here has been submitted. In other words, if that first condition is false, if the user email is not an empty string. And this is exactly what I want for performance reasons. Now here, I need to check now if that A error messages array is still empty or not. So to do that, I will use a CF if, and I will use another function of ColdFusion that you already know, is the array is empty function. And I will check if this A error message array is empty. If it is empty, it means that I did not detect any problem and that I can go on, I can move on with the form processing script. So here, insert data in database if no error detected. But if some error has been detected, then of course I cannot insert the data, but I also have to display the error message in the form. So here, just after the H2 title of the form, I will use CF if once again. First to check if is defined a error messages, so if that array is defined, and if it is defined, I also need to check that the array is not empty. So if that array is defined and if it is not empty, in that case, I can use a CF loop tag to loop over that A error messages array and I will supply the name of an index. The index here is the name of a variable and that variable will contain the value on which I'm currently looping. So inside of the loop, let's create first a CF output block that opens before the loop and closes right after the loop like that. And inside, there we go. I will output a paragraph. I will add a class to the paragraph, which will be error message. That class, of course, is defined in the CSS style sheet. And I will output my message, which is the message in the array that I'm currently looping on. So this is how we can add the server side data validation to the form processing and it comes in addition to the client-side data validation that we have generated using the CF input tags.